really if someone is learning do you think they can watch your videos and learn Welcome to my channel and I'm excited for you to paint with me. Paint the lightest coat first. So I'm going to take the water and lay it down on the can on the paper before I put down any color. Once I've done that, I can get the lightest coat possible so that I can layer color on top later. Now I'm going back in with a slightly darker shade and I'm evenly laying it across the paper. Um, I'm making sure the surface is flat and uh, that there is an even coat across the whole area that I want to cover. It's still light. It's still the second lightest coat. I go in really slowly. That's how I make sure that I can go back and fix any mistakes that I make. This cat is uh, multiple colors. So it's got a gray side, it's got an orange side, and it has a white part. So for the orange side, I'm doing essentially the same thing I did for the gray side, but I've decided to use a light shade of orange instead of a light shade of gray, which I will layer as you can see. One of the most frustrating parts about painting and watercolors especially is I've spent all this time drawing perfectly made images uh, of these cats. I feel really confident about where the structure is and how I'm going to shade it and if I was going to continue pencil shading, I feel really confident about what I, was, what I would do. But when it comes to watercolors, you have to do something which has always been hard for me, which is erase all my work. So I erased, or at least I mostly erased the outlines or and the slight shading that I did when I was creating the drawings uh, in which I'm painting now. And I'm going in with color. There were a couple tiny mistakes in this section. Uh, I basically did what I just told you multiple times not to do, which is to go in with too dark of layers too soon. Eventually I can get to darker layers, but I didn't test my color properly on a different sheet of paper and I didn't test it on the, uh, on the paper towel. So I went in with too dark of a color and that's going to be a bit tough for me to blend out later. Luckily this cat has a lot of detail and it's, really going to come together okay just because of the number of details that overlap one another. You won't be able to see the tiny mistakes that I made in the end product. Solid color caps can be a bit tricky. Because they're all the same color, I tend to want to paint them like I'm shading a regular pencil canvas. and. That's just not what you're supposed to do with watercolor. In the end, if you try to do that, it it can come out it can come out well. My last gray cat did come out okay, but I think the option that gives the best illusion of fur is one that you allow the paint to dry properly before coming back in with darker colors and making fine strokes that kind of look like fur. And in my last painting, I didn't, I wasn't patient and I, I went in while the paint was still dry just because I didn't have to mix the color again. It's just gray on top of gray. Um, but gray on top of gray is still different, you know, levels of gray and you have to wait and be patient before you put on the next layer. Otherwise, they're all going to blob together and you won't get to see that beautiful fur and the intricacies in it. Painting eyes on animals and humans has always been my favorite part of any painting. I think it's most artists' favorite part. And in my case, even though I, I try to be the most realistic artist that I can be, I often opt to make eyes a little bit bolder, 
a little more vibrant, a little darker than they need to be, or that they are in real life, just because, especially if you're the owner of a pet, you can really see the life of the animal in the eyes. Uh, it really helps to animate your two-dimensional portrait. And lastly, uh, at the very end, after everything has been dry, uh, I go back in, I do some more definition in the eyes, I let that dry, and then I go back in with actually white acrylic paint. Really, if someone is learning, do you think they can watch your videos and learn? No. So this is just a, what is the purpose of these videos? to learn how to make videos well then he's not a good designer what can i say